Looking for hidden gems to visit around Columbus. Number 1. The Book Loft. If you're a book nerd, this will blow you away. The Book Loft is a city block long independent bookstore, one of the largest in the nation. It occupies historic buildings, which used to be a general store, a saloon and a Nickelodeon cinema. The Book Loft has a whopping 32 rooms of books. Whether you're looking to purchase or just meander, visit this place and experience its unique old-fashioned German village vibe. Number 2. Bossy GRRL's Pin-Up Joint. How exactly does one describe Bossy GRRL's? Words that come to mind are burlesque, exotic, rowdy, and trashy. I'm not being mean here, that one's from their website. This place is a true wild gem. They offer burlesque shows every Monday at 10 p.m., and on other nights they feature dancers, musicians, and comedians. Beers, whiskey, coffee, and sandwiches are also available. What isn't there to love? Number 3. Topiary Park. On the corner of East Town Street and Washington Avenue in the middle of downtown Columbus sits the Topiary Garden, an incredible and very unique park. The park recreates Georges Seurat's famous Impressionist painting, Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. The pond represents the River Seine, and the topiary consists of 54 people, 8 boats, 3 dogs, a monkey, and a cat. It is the only topiary interpretation of a painting in existence. Walk among the figures for the unique sensation of living inside a painting. This can be a fun way to introduce kids to art. Number 4. The Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum. How cool is this? A museum of cartoons and comics. The Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum is the world's largest collection of all things that are cartoon or comic related. This includes original artwork, magazines, newspaper clippings, and so much more. The museum is a non-profit organization affiliated with Ohio State University. The museum's galleries are open to the public and admission is free. Number 5. The Rambling House. Columbus has tons of fantastic live music establishments, but this one deserves a special mention. If you don't know about this place, chances are you would never even notice it. No worries, though. The Rambling House has lots of regulars who love coming out to this laid-back spot to enjoy some bluegrass jams. The establishment also makes their own soda. The best way to sample the soda is in their very own house cocktail, the Rambler. Number 6. Bison at Battelle Darby Creek Metro Park. The bison is an iconic American animal. Did you know you could see free-roaming bison here in Columbus? Battelle Darby Creek, located just west of the city, has reintroduced bison to the park where they roam in two enclosed pastures. Number 7. Pedal Wagon. Why walk when you can ride around town in style on a pedal wagon? Their motto says it all, pedal and party. You will need to book this tour in advance, and there are multiple routes that will take you to a selection of restaurants and bars around central Columbus. You are allowed to bring your own beers for the ride, but make sure you check out their policy first. Number 8. AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame. The Motorcycle Hall of Fame aims to preserve America's rich history of motorcycles and the culture associated with it. The museum is open to the public and celebrates the inductees of the Hall of Fame, toys and collectibles, and the Indian motorcycle brand, the oldest U.S. brand of motorcycles. Number 9. Early Television Museum. If you're interested in technology or history, or you just want to reminisce about early childhood memories with a very old-fashioned TV, this is a great place to visit. Dedicated to the preservation of early television technology, the museum has a very unique collection of very old machines. Admission is free, but donations are appreciated. Number 10. Big Darby Headwaters Nature Preserve. 
This pristine area protects about 1,000 acres of wetlands and streamside forests. Yet, very few people know about it, according to Jen Murphy, spokeswoman for the Nature Conservancy, which owns the property. In fall 2011, the Conservancy completed efforts to restore and recreate the natural flow of the headwaters of Big Darby Creek. There is a 1.3-mile trail to reach an overlook at the stream restoration site. The Nature Conservancy says the Agnes Andrea Preserve, along Little Darby Creek off State Route 29, west of West Jefferson, is technically closed to the public. But that hasn't stopped visitors from the original 94-acre woodland in Madison County. In the spring, it's filled with wildlife and carpets of trillium, Jack in the Pulpit, Dutchman's Breeches and Trout Lily. The Conservancy bought the land near Little Darby Creek in 1997 for about $234,617 in a move to stall encroaching development. Since then, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources has preserved even more land, all of it richly endowed and largely untouched even by deer and invasive species. Number 11. The Ohio Railway Museum. Along the eastern edge of Worthington, this site has an industrial feel. But along the train tracks within, you'll find an old train station, renovated streetcars and interurbans that once traveled from downtown Columbus and beyond up and down the middle of Route 23. Train enthusiasts and history buffs will be especially drawn to the attractions, even though much of the old trains and equipment are in states of disrepair. Number 12. Overbrook Ravine Park. A little further north, just before you reach Cook Road, you'll find Overbrook, a 10.8-acre park split into two parts. Enter from High Street or Cook Road to access the western side. You can take a seat at one of the park benches lining the Adena Brook, or follow one of the tiny dirt paths lined with bluebells that take you further into the woods. Several roads jut out from the main avenue of the park, along which you'll cross stone bridges overlooking rock-studded creek beds. A large field runs along the curve of Canyon Drive, ideal for running the dogs or the kids. Nearby restaurants like North Star, Hot Chicken Takeover, and Kieran Noodle Bar make Overbrook a convenient spot to do some picnicking. You can also enter from Cook or Indianola to see the eastern side of the park. Either way you enter, Overbrook is another way to explore, embrace the quiet, and connect with something beyond yourself. Several roads jut out from the main avenue of the park, along which you'll cross stone bridges overlooking rock-studded creek beds. A large field runs along the curve of Canyon Drive, ideal for running the dogs or the kids. Nearby restaurants like North Star, Hot Chicken Takeover and Kieran Noodle Bar make Overbrook a convenient spot to do some picnicking. You can also enter from Cook or Indianola to see the eastern side of the park. Either way you enter, Overbrook is another way to explore, embrace the quiet, and connect with something beyond yourself.